Hello everyone. Today I want to tell you about where I live. I live in the northeastern Siberia, in the city of Yakutsk, and the permafrost stretches under our city. The permafrost is a thick subsurface layer of soil that remains frozen the whole year. Most of the permafrost had been formed 10,000 years ago. It is known that it was during the last ice age. It occurs chiefly in polar regions. As you can see on the map, Yakutsk is located in the area where the thickness of permafrost is quite large. In other words, our city has been built on the ice and can lead to some problems. For example, the usual multi-story buildings can't survive in such conditions. Every summer, the top layer of the permafrost tows a little and the usual buildings will fail. So all massive houses, higher than flea crews, stand on stilts, which bury it far into the ground. This process destroys the roads also. In winter, when the soil is frozen, the ground rises because the density of ice is less than that of water. In summer, it falls back. So now it's enough to drive on this road a couple of times and to will crack and break. But the permafrost has some advantages. It can store the moisture. Autumn rains water freezes and melts only in next summer. And this water is used by plants during hot and dry summer. People often use the fact that the temperature of the soil in layer of permafrost even in summer doesn't raise above 32 degrees in Fahrenheit. So you can store your food in the basement. This method is borrowed from our anisters. This amazing future is applied not only for food, but also for everything that can be frozen. For example, mammoths. In May 2013, science found a frozen well-preserved mammoths scoop. It was a sensational moment for the world because its blood is available for scientific research. Perhaps this mammoth drowned in the mud crossing the river and then it was frozen. This saved the mammoths from decomposition and predators. All the tissues was frozen and have saved by today, so we can get the DNA and may clone this mammoth.